Welcome to the world's largest jigsaw puzzle competition. 2,000 plus competitors from 44 countries. All fighting to take puzzling's ultimate prize. If you thought jigsaws were relaxing, think again. So stressed. It was a little tougher than I was hoping. Exhausting too? Yeah, it gets the adrenaline pumping. Feeling like when I was doing exams in university. <laughs> Kind of like the Olympics of puzzling. This is the biggest competition now on Earth. Okay, so here's how it works. There are three events, individuals, pairs and teams. Each event has a classification round and a grand final, but there are variations between each. In the individual's grand final, the top 180 participants have a maximum period of one and a half hours to complete a 500-piece puzzle. As if that wasn't tough enough, in every round, the puzzles are not revealed until the clock starts. In the grand finals, the puzzles are not even released to the public. Achieving glory is simple. Complete the puzzle in the fastest time during the grand final, and you are the world champion. We, we want to achieve peace by laying a piece. <laughs> peace for peace. Interestingly, there are nations that seem to dominate the puzzling world. Ooh, Sweden, probably Spain, 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 and Spain. Spain. Spanish guys are the most difficult. Yeah. Czech Republic won it last year. But you haven't got lots of Czechs, and then you've got the Scandinavian nations, and they've really flourished this year. No finish though. After individuals qualifying, there are two names that have the dome talking. The Norwegian girl. Oh, I can't remember her name. <laughs> The most interesting strategy, without a doubt, was the Norwegian girl who came. It was really a total crowd favourite. It's just amazing the way that she puzzles. Just with one hand and, you know, she just puts the pieces down. No stress at all. I wish I could see her close up. I hope she doesn't mind that. looks like a bored teenager and just sort of chucking the pieces into piles and didn't put a single piece together in the first 15 minutes. I thought, oh, what's happened to her? She, is she, is she lost it? And then all of a sudden it just... She just starts putting pieces together, picks up a piece and puts it together. But interestingly, starts from the middle and works out. Absolute work of art. Poetry in motion. Unbelievable. Kristen comfortably won her qualification round with a time of 37 minutes and 16 seconds. The average person takes about four hours to do a 500-piece puzzle. I mean, inside I was, uh, of course, like, stressed out, but... Also, I felt calm, yeah. It was just me and my puzzle, so, yeah. But Kristen is not the only one catching people's attention. That gentleman... Fernando... Uh, I don't know the name. Yeah. Whoever that guy is. Whatever his name was, it was a long one. Extremely impressed by Alejandro. A very modest chat. He wasn't even considering coming to the world until he won the Spanish Championships two or three months ago. I think it's going to win everything. Like, he's super fast and like seeing him flip pieces and like do things like he moves both hands. Like, it's really amazing to watch. Alejandro comfortably beats the competition in qualifying with a time of 32 minutes and 41 seconds. Almost five minutes quicker than Kristen. But it's the grand final result that really counts. I feel so good, it's a little bit exhausted. Welcome, good afternoon to the World Jigsaw Puzzle Championship. Adelante, suerte! I mean, we knew it'd be tough. It's a brand new puzzle that no one's ever seen before. We knew it would be something crazy like solid colors. Yeah. So, uh... <laughs> the colors, I didn't like them. It's not like the, the puzzle that I would buy. I'm going to burn it when I get it. <laughs> it doesn't burn too well, uh, uh, actually. Too I tried. <laughs> I did try once, I did. I did that to a chair once. So. Yeah. <laughs> Try to find your own strategy, because I believe everyone has a different strategy. Yeah, I think it was looking at what people did. So edges first, not edges, colors, non-colors. Divide the colors, start with the brightest color. But no building the edges at first. Start from the bottom to the top. I'm not like a, a border team person. You keep putting pieces together, eventually all of them will come together. Drink a lot of water. <laughs> I don't know what my technique is. Start with the red door. The, the red door. <laughs> When you are doing a puzzle, 
you are solving life's problems. It's like solving life's problems. Uh, yesterday, I, I talked to some of the people here and I told them that, you see, the, the, the piece has four sides. So if someone solves a 500 piece puzzle in just 30 minutes, it's equivalent to solving 2,000 problems in 30 seconds. And I think that is very unique of any person to be able to do that, to figure out such a thing. He's done it. Alejandro is the individual's world champion with a time of 34 minutes and 25 seconds. Seven minutes behind, in second place, is Kristen with a time of 41 minutes and 27 seconds. Sometimes puzzling can be cruel. Just ask Mario Szelewski. He lost his final piece. Fortunately for him, there is just a 10 second penalty in this scenario so he still managed to place 21st. Someone just needs to tell him. Competitive puzzling doesn't have to be a lonely affair. In the pair's grand final, teams of two take on a 1,000 piece puzzle in a maximum time of two hours. Katerina and Teresa take first place with a time of one hour, two minutes and 20 seconds, re-cementing the Czech Republic as one of the strongest puzzling nations. So how do you stay calm in those moments? We didn't. But the battle for second is extremely tight. At one hour, five minutes and 54 seconds, the Spanish team of Angel and Demelaza get second. 11 seconds later, fellow Spaniards Alejandro and Suzanne come in third. And 13 seconds after that, Kristen and her mum come in fourth. Uh, she was a bit more stressed than I was, so... Yeah, but it was fun, yeah. Last, but not least, it's the most grueling event of them all, the team's grand final. In the team's final, teams of four take on not one, but two puzzles in any order they see fit. A 1,000 and a 1,500 piece puzzle. Strategy is everything. <laughs> um, oh God, can we have a look at some technique here? Box in hand, piece. We've made her nervous now, she can't. She's got puzzle blindness. So looking at the team tactics here, um, and you see they've all got, they're working with these boards, absolutely essential. Katie here as well, three years ago, she wore her lucky slippers and she brought some new slippers this time. And I asked her about her slippers and she said, yeah, I don't think they were lucky. So there we are. So she's no more, no more slippers, she's playing in shoes today. <laughs> We can see, obviously, the sky is a difficult bit, which everyone's leaving to last. And here we've got Alejandro, who is the world champion puzzler, beating the competition by at least five minutes. I think definitely top three here, definitely podium finish for these guys. Further back, I'm not quite sure how many teams are going to finish. All the Americans are together, Americans, Americans, Americans. Oh, it's good to see the Americans here, because um, three years ago in the first World Championships, the only Americans was a family of four. I don't think they even finished a single puzzle in that time. Here we go. Very close to finishing. That's that, that's almost a thousand pieces done. So they're, they're on 900 and what 920 pieces. So a very good showing by the Americans to have beaten these teams up front. Got lots of American imagery on it. Maybe that's why. Maybe that gave them. Maybe that conferred them an advantage as well. Now we've got the back. So these are the slowest qualifiers. They're never going to finish the 1,500 piece. So the Czech team, Czech team, incredibly strong team, a world champion in pairs, ex-world champion singles from three years ago, bronze medal from yesterday as well. It looks like they're not doing quite as well as the Spanish teams at the beginning. And there we go, they've finished. Uh, I think we're going to have probably one team to finish both the puzzles. They're going to really have to get their skates on if they want to finish the second puzzle in 45 minutes. Teams was so difficult because the two puzzles that they put were extremely difficult in my opinion.
time. Five minutes were left on the clock and they finally finished. The only team in the world to have managed to do so. So amazing. Congratulations to them. And there he is, world champion, the number one putter in the world um, in teams as well, and largely due to him. But the four of them doing the sky, I'd say he did three quarters of it. Incredible, unbelievable puzzler. And all that with a sprained ankle, like it wasn't a sprained wrist. Well, all this weekend has been amazing. Uh, I believe that this weekend has been a great opportunity to meet new people, enjoying all the passion to do puzzles together. Fantastic. <laughs> Hashtag anything is possible. Ah, P possible. Possible. <laughs> possible. 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 Ah, yeah. <laughs> In the mood to puzzle? Why not try the Ravensburger Guinness World Records puzzle, made up of our free latest book covers, created by the amazingly talented illustrator, Rod Hunt. And if you think you have what it takes, you can register for the 2023 World Jigsaw Puzzle Championships. Maybe you could be a world champion. Application links in the description of this video.